Well, guys, we're like a week away from 2024 in election year. And 2024 is going to be absolutely crazy. If you guys thought that uh, 2020 was crazy, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. It is about to get really, really wild with the uh, general election, you know, like 10 months away. We're only like 10 months away, guys, from the presidential election where it definitely seems like Donald Trump is going to be going up against Beijing Biden. We'll have to see if uh, Beijing Biden is still going to be on the ticket for the Democrats because he is getting destroyed like in every single poll. But the DNC refuses to have any primaries. They're telling their voters, hey, you're going to take Joe Biden. No questions asked. Now, we need to talk about this, uh, this video that is going viral, guys, because the mainstream media, man, they are only going to cover, you know, one side of the politics. The mainstream media is definitely a uh, pro leftist. They are Joe Biden, man. They are still trying to protect him while in a way, you know, they seem like they really don't want him. But when it comes to Donald Trump, they're definitely going to try and protect Joe Biden at all costs. The establishment, that is what they want, even though they're not really fans of uh, Joe Biden. But man, this video we're going to be talking about here is going to show you how the mainstream media, man, really distorts the truth because the Biden voter is kept in the dark. I mean, I'm pretty stunned, guys. So make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member and support us because we have our member live stream every single Friday. So look at this, guys. This is actually uh, posted from uh, Shaney Rich actually talking to a leftist right here. And we know that um, that Joe Biden is going after Donald Trump. He's trying to lock up his primary political enemy. The mainstream media is going right along with this. They're calling uh, Trump an insurrectionist, even though he's never been charged an insurrection. Nobody has. But that has been the narrative no matter what. Now, the Colorado Supreme Court, as you guys know, they decided, you know what? Let's kick Trump off the ballot. That sets a very, very dangerous precedent because a lower court said that Trump was an insurrectionist, but they refused to actually take him off the ballot. That, my friends, opened up a whole new can of worms right there that allowed the uh, Colorado Supreme Court to kick him off the ballot. I don't think it's going to last, but now you got something like 12 states now trying to kick Donald Trump off the ballot. And it's all based off of lies. And the Democrats, man, they're going to lie to their uh, constituents and say that Trump is insurrectionist. He's doing all this the classified document stuff, man. I mean, they are really, really coming at Donald Trump, but it's all backfiring, guys. This video clip here, you guys need to watch this because this uh, Biden voter really thinks that uh, Donald Trump is some kind of a, an authoritarian. The things that uh, Joe Biden is actually doing to uh, Donald Trump. It's not working. The things that he's trying to do, he's trying to lock up Donald Trump. But to a typical Biden voter, they actually believe that uh, Donald Trump is doing this to Joe Biden. I mean, this is astonishing. So let's go ahead and play this clip. I don't know if you saw, but Trump is actually calling for Biden to be removed from the ballot. There's been no convictions, but these unelected Supreme Court judges are trying to remove Biden from the ballot, which I think is like extremely dangerous to our democracy. Oh, for sure. It's that's an extremely dangerous precedent. I mean, there's been no convictions. There's been nothing um, illegal done. So there's no precedent for removing him. And it's mostly just to appeal to the fan base. But either. Yeah, right there, guys. So she actually believes that Donald Trump is going after Joe Biden. Even though Donald Trump is not in charge of the DOJ, that is actually Joe Biden. And these are the things that um, that Joe Biden is doing to Donald Trump. Yet she believes that Trump is doing this to Biden. Doesn't make any sense, but let's keep watching, guys. This is going to get interesting here. 
way, it's it's a pretty dangerous thing to do. I feel like that's like a similar tendency to Hitler, you know? Yeah. Uh, like if there was a conviction, that'd be one thing. But like I always say, why don't you let the voters decide? Mm -hmm. Why would you want the candidate who's leading in the polls to be removed from the ballot so you would have an easier chance of winning? Oh, for sure. And, and to be fair, I mean, that's the whole premise of democracy is that the people decide who they want to represent them and the policies they want to represent them. So to just completely disregard that and go based off of, oh, well, I think he should be removed, then that does lead us a little bit closer to authoritarianism and fascism. What if I told you that that was actually Biden that just did that to Trump? Yeah. So this is where it's going to get really, really interesting, guys. So she was thinking that, all right, Trump's doing this. This is going to lead us more into authoritarianism and fascism. But Joe Biden is already doing that. And now he's saying, telling her that um, Biden is actually doing this to Trump. In Colorado. You also have to consider the nuance behind what is being investigated currently. If they have enough to have a conviction, then sure. If they don't, then they don't. They don't have a conviction, but they just did it to Trump. Yeah. So how could you support Biden knowing that they're doing that to Trump? There's the taking of all the classified documents. Biden also stole classified documents, too. And not only that, Donald Trump as the president has the authority to declassify pretty much any document. Now, when it came to uh, Joe Biden, Joe Biden actually had documents from the time he was in the Senate. He had no authority to declassify everything. And he was actually keeping it in his uh, garage uh, next to his Corvette next to his uh, crackhead son. Joe Biden also had uh, classified documents from when he was actually Obama's VP. No authority to declassify those, but um, the DOJ said, nah, we ain't gonna go after um, Biden. Let's go after Trump. Yeah, it's completely weaponized, man. This whole thing is political. And they had him in his garage in the Corvette. He had him at the college at the Penn State. So I feel like everyone has taken classified documents. It's I mean, like a well, rules for thee, but not for me is what it seems like against Trump, you know? Not exactly. Um, when not you consider exactly. the amount of interference when it comes to like Russia and foreign policy and everything. Russia? That whole thing has been debunked. Hillary Clinton made all of that up. Made it all up. It's all been debunked, but she's still believing the lies. Thing like that. Oh, you mean Either how that, way, but that was debunked, but that was debunked though. They it said Russia. It wasn't. it wasn't. Do you not remember how Adam Schiff got censured for lying about it? There was yeah. never a conviction for Russian just interference. Just because there isn't a conviction does not mean that there isn't sufficient evidence. Do you not remember, do you not remember the, the Steele dossier, though? The FBI lied. Hillary Clinton campaign paid the FBI to lie about the Russia. Either way, there needs to be a line, and that line is something that has to be determined by the public. Yeah, and that's why Trump's leading in the polls, you know? Over 60%, and then they want to remove him from the ballot because they know he's going to win. Mm, I don't know about that, but... You don't think so? No, I don't. Wow. Wow. She is delusional, guys. Absolutely delusional right here. This may be your typical uh, Biden voter right here. I mean, she actually believes the lies. All this stuff has been debunked. They impeached Trump and tried to say that he was a Russian agent. You know what? Many people may not actually know this, but um, when uh, Mitt Romney was uh, running against Obama, they actually said he was a Russian agent also as well. Yeah. They did. I mean, Democrats, man, have been denying every election they have not won since 2000, going all the way back to uh, uh, George, uh, George W. Bush. Yeah, they have. They have been denying elections going all the way back to 2000, man. Funny. Democrats can challenge an election, but if you are on the red team and if your name is Trump, oh, no, you cannot you cannot, you absolutely cannot challenge an election. Funny how that works, huh? I mean, Hillary Clinton should be under prison. All those emails, 30,000 emails deleted. I mean, smashing with hammers and all that other stuff. She should be in prison. She lied, made up the whole uh, Russia collusion hoax. All of that. Astonishing, man. This right here seems to be your typical Democrat voter right here. Completely ignorant. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.